I'm still rolling. That's grand. <laughs> yes, on arrival at Cider Camp, all inmates were greeted by the camp doctor who issued them with the following kit. Oil skin coat, a suit of rough denim fabric, a short of similar fabric, woolen underpants and socks, a pair of heavy boots, broad leather belt, a cap, a tin mug and a grey woolen bedroll. That sounds pretty sparse to me. It's, it's Spartan. It's Spartan. But all their uh, needs are being met. Uh, they've, got, they've got clothing. Um, they've got a waterproof, I think. Um, a bedroll. Uh, cutlery and things like that are provided in the in the, in the eating block. And is that all? Another tin block. Yeah, I mean, the, well, you, you the think the person needs to survive if they're an yeah, alcoholic. Yeah, well, it's, it's food, water, and shelter is the three, right? But if you're an alcoholic, it's food, bevy, and shelter is what you really need to keep alive. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a basic needs thing. And well, I notice um, in one of the chapters is about a very sad story about a singer. Mm -hmm. So you know, there's another basic need for you. Uh, because but the yourself. list we just went through isn't exactly got any luxuries in it. Nah, it's not you know, it's, so a bit of song or maybe it's not entertainment, no. But um, no. I, I suppose they'd be expected to make their own entertainment, and hence the wee guy that dies. He's he's been popular because he can still sing, and he's got a repertoire of folk songs. So I guess you'd have to make their own entertainment. But then, see when you see like drunks sitting on park benches and like follies and things, right? They've not exactly got the radio on normally. Um, or any other kind of entertainment. All they do but is. But they probably read the newspaper, you know, the evening news. Possibly. I mean, but then mm -hmm. when you're. I think when you're. That's proper pretty... alcohol. If you don't have. Yeah, the newspaper's almost a luxury. You can maybe read the Metro or something, I guess, because that's free. It's almost just that discarded Metro. That's a great idea, actually. The Metro going to Cider Camp. It does say in the map, it did say no newspapers, but the Metro, though. I could see that going down how I just freely it. Well, so. see, the right wing guy behind the whole mm -hmm. thing, uh, me, no, I mean, it's called Professor Blackwood. Um, that's part of his theory that a lot of the, um, a lot of things like violence and whatnot between drunks is because they argue about things, they'll argue about sport, or they'll argue about politics or religion or something like that. So just by keeping them isolated from any news whatsoever means that they have slightly less to argue about, I think, was the theory behind it. 